Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Paranormal News. Today's article comes from DailyMail.co.uk, and the headline is Mystery Triangle Shape is Spotted in Area 51 Hangar by Pilot Who Took 1,000 Photos During Christmas Day Fly Past of Secret Military Base in Nevada. It was written by, it says, Daily Mail Reporter, and it was published on January 6, 2021. Gabe Zeithman, a private pilot and amateur photographer, spent Christmas Day flying his Cessna 150 plane over the Nevada Test and Training Range. The hangar is just south of the main NTTR complex at Area 51, and the object looks large, although it is unclear. It does appear to be the only hangar that is open. Zeithman, a trainer air traffic controller, ATC, has flown over the area on three separate occasions. A private pilot captured stunning visuals of the Nevada Test and Training Range, NTTR, and Area 51, showing a mysterious triangle shape inside an open hangar. Gabe Zeithman, a private pilot and amateur photographer, spent Christmas Day flying his Cessna 150 plane over the area and snapping just over 1,000 photos. The hangar is just south of the main NTTR complex at Area 51, and the object looks large, although it is unclear. It does appear to be the only hangar that is open. And we will look at the actual photograph that has the object in it at the end of the video. I'll, I'll bring it up then. Zeithman, a trainer air traffic controller, ATC, has flown over the area on three separate occasions, Mystery Wire reports. In the videos of his flights posted to YouTube, Zeithman can be heard getting clearance for his route over the restricted area. For this particular flight, Zeithman had higher quality photography gear that allowed him to capture better photos. Area 51 is just one of the sensitive military facilities located within the Nevada Test and Training Range, a vast military training area in the Nevada's Mojave Desert. Details of everything that takes place at Area 51 are classified as top secret, and the intense secrecy around the facility has led to widespread conspiracy theories that it is used to store captured or crashed UFOs. What is officially acknowledged is that Area 51 was founded by the CIA in 1955 as a testing facility for the secretive U-2 spy plane, and that it has likely been used ever since to test highly classified and experimental aircraft. As for any national security implications of sharing the images, it is worth noting that Russia can and does fly directly over Area 51 with sophisticated reconnaissance planes under the Open Skies Treaty. And that is the end of this article. So now let's take a look at this photograph. Now when we look at it here, you can see the red circle. That is showing you the craft inside the hangar there. Now you can't really make out what it is. It's kind of blurry and it's not that great. You can still see it. And I'm telling you what that looks like to me, that looks almost like a boomerang shape, okay? So that was most likely one of our stealth fighters. That's what that aircraft is right there. That's not any kind of UFO or anything like that. I forget the exact name of it, but the Air Force has a stealth fighter that is in that exact shape right there. So most likely that's, that's what that is. I don't think this is any big mystery. I don't think that it is a UFO or anything like that. I think that's just simply one of our spy planes. And they're designed that way to deflect radar, which is actually amazing how they work. But anyway, there's the picture. And as always, you can make up your own mind and decide for yourself what you think. I would think that if it was some sort of top secret UFO or top secret unknown aircraft, 
they wouldn't have it sitting right there in the above ground hangar with the door wide open. Especially when they knew this dude was flying over. It's not like he snuck over the place. He requested clearance to fly the route over. So they knew he was there. And also the article says that Russia flies over there all the time and takes photographs and stuff. So there's no way with Russia flying around and with this dude flying through the air there that they would leave a top secret aircraft or a UFO sitting in an above ground hangar with the door open like that. There's just no way that would happen. And if it did happen, I guarantee you somebody's ass was getting in a lot of trouble because that is just not done. If it had to be out in the open, they would be putting the camo netting over it so that you couldn't see it from the air. And it doesn't have anything like that. It's just sitting there, wide open hangar, just pretty as can be. It's not even very deep in the hangar. It's right on the edge of the hangar. Because there's a lot of room back in the darkness there where you could have parked that plane. So that plus the shape of the plane tells me that this is not some kind of top secret or alien spacecraft. This is simply a known Air Force plane. It's a spy plane. That's what it is. And I, what I will do is I'm going to look up the actual name of it. it. I know it. It just slipped my mind. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't make it come out. So I'm going to look that up. And then when I actually make this video, I'll put it up on the screen right now. When you're looking at the picture right now, you're going to have text on the screen that tells you what kind of plane that is. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think it is. Do you agree with me that this is simply a spy plane? Or do you think that it is some sort of unknown top secret aircraft that the military is working on that hasn't been released yet? Or do you believe that this is an alien spacecraft? As always, it's up to you to make up your own mind. And I will catch you on the next episode until I speak to you again. Love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.